big pimping shot right here. You want be Ooh, man, you saw that shit? Look at that shit. Okay, children, our first lesson for the day is how to beat My responsibility is now to do everything. Well, I'm gonna keep it real. Okay, yeah, please do. There's a show we keep it real. What do you get when you combine spontaneous energy, explosive matter, a double dose of lyrical skills, and a subtle hint of sexiness? A finely tuned female MC that goes by the name Rod Digger. Rod Digger is the first female rap artist to rap both the Outsiders and the Flip Mode Squad. Discovered while she was eight months pregnant, performing at a lyricist lounge set, Rod Digger, a.k.a. Dirty Harriet, made an everlasting impression on all listening ears. Rod Digger's start was a nice long one. Actually, I started rhyming like back in elementary school, seventh grade, something like that. Then I went to high school and, you know, just still stayed with it, stayed with it, came back home, went through the please listen to my demo process and um, linked up with my outsider click. And it wasn't until um, 96 when I was first featured on the Fuji's album, um, the Cowboys joint. You carry your no talent cause you're blazing in your sad. Watch these rappers get all up in your pockets and bounce with accountants that gave me good stock. Cool G Rap from the Juice Crew and Rod Kim are the two MCs that I would say taught me how to rap. Like when I listened to them, this was my idea of dope MCing. So when I sat down to write a rhyme, like, you know, it had to sound, it had to be in that realm in order to be dope to me. Digga, digga. First name Rashia. We just person had no idea. Dirty Area represents a number of things. For one, um, I proclaim to be the Harriet Tubman of hip hop and you know, don't mind my my um boldness or cockiness, but I just feel like, you know, for me to in the year two thousand just now be receiving the, the, the props and the recognition, I feel like it's long overdue. It's been a long time coming for me. This generation rules the nation with version. My first encounter with Buster, he called me. My manager was in the studio with him, letting him hear some of my joints. And he called me that night to tell me that he liked stuff. I didn't, when I, when I got the phone call, I didn't believe that it was Buster, so I hung up on him. I was pregnant, I was asleep, you don't mess with a pregnant woman when she sleep. So I think, um, I think Buster actually got a kick out of that, like, okay, well, at least she ain't flipped groupie on me or whatever, you know. Ah, Buster Rock! Peter, Peter, Rat, go back to pediatrics. Early left rappers like you with straight festers. I did purposely set out to have him on the album as minimal as possible simply because you know when the flip mode album came out it was like none of the flip mode mcs really got a chance to establish their own identity it was like it was always buster rhymes in the flip mode squad the biggest misconception about rod digger is that i'm sleeping with buster rhymes <laughs> The second biggest misconception is that I'm purposely trying to sound hardcore. Like, I get that a lot. A lot of people are thrown off behind. I guess, you know, my voice doesn't really match my look. Everyone expects, you know, the quote-unquote hardcore and seeing that I deliver. You're going to get a, a whole lot of different, you know, sides of me because I, I just, I went through so many, you know, things and learning experiences throughout the making of the album. I don't really rhyme too much about sexuality. I definitely use my looks to my advantage. And I think any good looking female MC would be a fool not to. Um, but I focus on lyrics first, MCing first, and I just use everything else, you know, for the visuals. Rod Digger is mommy. Rod Digger is a very smart, intelligent advocate of education. Um, Digger love the kids. 
The best feeling for me is the effect that I have on other people. It's like you don't even realize, but there's scores of people out there in the world that genuinely love you, like a like a like a blood relative loves you, and just the impact that you know you as an artist can have on a person's life and you know just how you can affect them on a daily it means so much to me don't get more hip hop y'all let's just keep it straight from the heart let's continue to keep it in the heart y'all god bless you this year it's going to be even bigger Tonight, the world is in the house who will be there who will steal the show there's only one way to find out. Hip hop history up in here. The Source Hip Hop Music Awards. Coming August 29th, only on UPN 9. Give it up, gonna be all up, gonna be. Give it up, gonna be all up.